Okay, today we're gonna cook some of these uh, baby back ribs from uh, Costco. Costco already uh, removed the membrane, so we don't have to worry about that. I want to bring this on, these things up to room temperature. But first of all, we just slathered with some mustard here. This way, like a binder, and it, and it helps possible breaking down the meat a little bit. And just throw some mustard on it. There's no taste on it, by the way, so not to worry. What we're using today will be cooking the sweet mesquite. I like this uh, Chef Blend spices. We use the chipotle pepper rub. And then we're going to use, we'll follow it up with smokehouse barbecue rub. And just for good measure, we use the uh, famous Dave's rib rub on, a, on the front. So we're going to put several different spices on here. Now we we'll start out with the chipotle pepper rub on the back side here. Then some of this uh, mesquite. It's cooked in this mesquite. Gives it a little bit of a smoky taste to it. Sweet taste. And we'll follow it up with the uh, smokehouse barbecue rub. Um, chef blend of spices. This is, this is pretty good. This gives a nice coloring. I think it has a little bit of sweetness to it. Pat it down a bit. Put these things and flip it over. Again, some squirt with the mustard here. Just rub it down a bit. And then we'll go back to the spicing again. Chipotle rub on it. Is it this? It's going to give it the salt too. It's got the, the coarse salt on it. And some little chipotle flakes on it. Cooking. Put some of this coloring one, a sweet paprika coloring type look to it. Famous Dave's. That's it. Okay, we got the ribs on it. It's, it's, it's cooking on a rack. I use a grill rack. This way it keeps the uh, ribs from uh, uh, lying flat on, on the smoking rack there and, and if it's that close to the firebox it's going to start to burn up on it. So this keeps it away and, and gives it a nice good airflow around it. The coloring looks good. I mean it almost looks good to eat right now but uh, we're going to give it uh, maybe you know six hours or so. We keep an eye on it. These are pretty hefty ribs so it's going to take a little bit longer. But I'll get back to you once we pull it. Okay, the ribs are ready to come off. It's been on there for about seven hours. Get these rubber gloves again. Let's see how big these guys are. Oh, look at that, huh? Oh, yes. Okay. It's coming apart, so it's done. So basically, we're just going to baste it up with the uh, Sweet baby rays. Oh yeah, they're done. They are done. Paste them down here quickly. And what I do is I shut down the, uh, the smoker and I just let the uh, the ribs sit in there while I prepare the other foods. That'll, that'll be about five ten minutes. Just let the uh, barbecue sauce set up. Just mop it up like this. My dog's sitting waiting on the background here. Oh, this is going to be a good one. down, shut, put in the grates, shut it down, bring it in the house and we'll show you what it looks like plated up. Okay, looks like the ribs are ready to come out. What I did was that I just wrapped up the uh, AC cord 
Oh, we got a pizza cooking in that queue there. But this is the main meal, and look at the way that thing looks. Oof. Okay, I'll pull it out now and we'll put it on a plate and we'll see what it all looks like. Okay, here it is. It's in a house. You can see the coloring on this thing is just marvelous. Here's the pizza that came out of the pizza oven. That looks good too. So let's see what this thing looks. Let's just see what this thing looks like. We okay, have a knife here. We know it's tender already because you, we, we saw taking off the grill. How how it's just fun falling off the bone. So we'll just take a peek here. Oh yeah, look at that. What you're looking for is the uh, let's take a picture of it. All that smoke ring. Look out all that redness in it. It's just falling off the bone. Tender, juicy, nice and juicy. Nice, nice red ring around it. A lot of smoke flavor charcoal flavor oh that's a that's a very nice uh, looking rib here so we'll just grab this piece here because i'm hungry throw a slice of pizza on there and i think we're pretty much set to go so this is our first cook with ribs on the master belt and it looks like it's going to be pretty dang good